So I'm with Megan, my sister Megan. She has lost a bunch of weight and we're in her closet. So you said you had an experience with your clothes and the sizes that was yeah. kind of confusing, right? Very confusing. I have, um, you know, in the past done a lot of yo-yo dieting and um, at one point, I had lost a significant amount of weight. Um, I think I'd lost 65 pounds doing the Atkins diet. Mm -hmm. And I actually got to a weight less than what I am right now. Um, and so I saved a lot of those clothes that, you know, I, that you used to wear, that I used to wear, you know, hoping one day that I would get back in them. Well, I am actually 20 pounds heavier than what I was at that smallest weight when I bought some of these clothes but I fit in them even better. Like, this is loose on me. 20 pound difference, and these clothes fit better. It, it just didn't make any sense to me until, you know, we had sort of talked about it more, so. So here's proof right <laughs> here, okay? So this is a dress that yeah. used to be tight on her when she was 20 pounds heavier than she is now. She's, no, it's 20 pounds lighter. Sorry, when you were yeah. 20 pounds lighter. <laughs> I know, it makes no sense. And she is now. Yeah, see, it doesn't even make sense in my mind. So this is proof that you go by the size of your clothes, the tightness of your clothes, and not the scale. Definitely. The scale was completely wrong. Completely wrong. I mean, completely wrong. And it was just amazing. This dress is loose on me now. 20 pounds heavier than when I bought it. Because your body is tighter and leaner. She has more, more muscle, muscle, but it may weigh more on the scale. Right. Well. You're such an inspiration. Congratulations. Thank you. So go and look for your clothes in your closet. It's a great way to judge your progress, but of course the way you feel inside of you, that's really the most authentic way to judge your journey. So how do you feel? Fantastic. Woohoo! <laughs>